Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I would like to remind you of the spontaneity that we experienced along our journey and how many of the times it's the spontaneity that occurs along our way that yields the results that we desire, whether we like them or not. There's a quote that I heard that said, man plans, God laughs. And over time, I begin to see the value in that quote. Because there's a difference in operating along our journey from a forceful position and from a position of power. When when our souls are trapped in these vessels or inhabiting these vessels, if you will, we learn from a very young age to be forceful, to make plans, to iron things out, to chip away at our goals. It takes a certain kind of will, a certain amount of will, a certain dedication of will. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not judging. However, when we operate from the power that is our true nature, we expect the outcome by any means necessary. We don't strife and toil away in our best attempts to be forceful. No, when you operate from your power, you already know the outcome will come. You already know it's simply waiting on you. And you will be guided to the proper actions to take. Now, both power and force do require some kind of action. But when you operate from your power, your you are nourishing the faith that you have in who you truly are. When you operate from force, it's almost as if you are attempting to convince yourself of who you are. Now, granted, both approaches do yield results. Sometimes it yields the exact results that we desire. But what I've learned from myself along the way is embracing the power that is me allows me to be open to more opportunities and outcomes more than I can ever imagine. It allowed me to venture off into avenues of life that I was blind to before. Sometimes even circling back and realizing, oh, okay. I understand now. Now I can move forward in a different kind of power. Whereas before, many a times before, I was strictly operating from a forceful perspective. I've got to do this. I have to do it this way. If it doesn't go this way, it's incorrect. I'll never yield the results. I must do it this way, that way. Nerve wracking. <laughs> Simply nerve wracking. Now, operating from power, I still have stressful moments. It's just part of the journey. It's okay. However, I could take a moment and breathe. I could take a moment to truly digest what's going on along the journey. More importantly, I can give myself grace and not beat myself up. See, I came to realize that the more I operate within my own power of who I am, not only do I find a certain level of peace, but it allows me to move forward with an inner confidence that has nothing to do with the outside world. I don't judge myself as harshly as before. I take things moment by moment, step by step. And even when 
certain perspectives are forced upon me, if you will, by outsiders. Sometimes, well, it may shake me for a second, and I dust it off, keep moving. Other times, I blankly ignore it. I keep it moving. Because I realize that just as I'm operating in my power, others are operating in theirs, even if they choose to do so in a forceful manner. All that's fine. You learn to move accordingly. See, as you witness these changes within yourself, you also begin to understand how much power you give away. And once you're aware of this, you have a choice to make. Either I'm going to live on my terms or I'm going to live by someone else's terms. No matter what I've experienced in my life, I've never been fulfilled living by another person's terms. Because when you operate from that state of being, you give somebody else the control of the will. It doesn't matter if it's a job. It doesn't matter if it's your friend circle. It doesn't matter if it's your intimate relationships. You're giving away your control. You're giving away your power. Like, it's no... There's a perceived upside to it, but in the long run, it'll never be enough for you or the person that you give the power away to. That was a tough pill to swallow for myself because I began to understand how conditioned we are in this reality to give away our power. I mean, we all have our journeys, right? And that journey is our own individual world. It's our way of seeing and interacting with reality. And as we go along this journey, we can look outside for so many answers when the answers are truly within us. <laughs> Interestingly enough, for myself, the more I trusted within myself, my power, uh, intuition, as some will call it. The more clarity I received and the more authority I took upon my life. Now, that doesn't mean that others, the ways of others does not work. It just may not work for us, for myself, for you. That's fine. That's not to demonize the outside world. No, it's the opposite. It's about connecting with the God within. And it's a beautiful place to be in. It's simple, not easy. It's not always, uh, hmm. it's not always what we want to encounter. But at times it's necessary to be able to confront ourselves and who we believe ourselves to be. It's okay. And as you make these subtle changes and sometimes major changes, it's not for anyone else to understand. If they get it, they do. If they don't, they don't. But I want to remind you to trust in you. Operate from a powerful place, not a forceful place, if you feel so inclined. And slowly but surely, in the uncommon hours, you'll see the result that you always desired. The fun part about it is that never stops. The journey is nothing but a continuous cycle of evolution, just as any and all things in this reality. It's out with the old and with the new. Creation and destruction. Infinity at its finest. Trust in yourself. Know the power that you have. 
And don't worry about forcing your way or forging your way through. Things take care of themselves. And the actions that you are called to, embrace them. My dog is going crazy out there, so I guess it's a good time to stop. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget the smooth.